Hello YouTube. Today I'll be making some of my uh, homemade pantry oil. A lot of people already know this recipe. It's kind of a common recipe that was uh, told to me by some older gentleman whose name escapes me right now. But uh, it consists of a 50-50 mix of automatic transmission fluid. I've used Dextron, Mercron, ATF, uh, and I've mixed it with the acetone. I don't know if there's different types of acetone, but usually the clear acetone is what I get. I'm saying that because I know with mineral spirits you can pick up stuff that's white colored or clear. You know, it comes in a few different things. But uh, the hard part about this mix is trying to find a spray bottle that won't melt. Because acetone is great at dissolving plastic. So. You might want to look for something, I think this is polyethylene, but I'm not sure. But it's an old spray ball I've used for years for that. So we start off just uh, pouring out some ATF. Try to fill this about halfway, eyeball it. enough. We'll take our acetone. And just shake it so it's incorporated nice and good. And you can hear that. It's nice and liquidy. Let's see if I can get some drip off the nozzle here. I mean, that's just like water pretty much. So, hold on here. I'm shaking pretty bad for the camera. Can't even get it to drip. But uh, when this sits on the shelf, you have to shake it each time because the oil will like to separate from the acetone. But it works pretty dang good. I've used it on several pieces of equipment, especially larger pieces of equipment that I need to tear down. I actually had a uh, disc that I was working on. And before I even learned this trick, I had redone the uh, rear discs and they were impossible to pull apart. Uh, the nut came off easy enough, but that's because I could hook up a big five to six foot bar and turn it and not much will stop, uh, something like that. I sprayed this on every uh, shank and uh, bearing and went to take it apart after uh, letting it set for a couple days like that. And every day I came by and sprayed it once and it was all the way down into the shaft. Every piece I pulled off had oil all the way down to the shaft, which uh, shocked me because I've used other penetrating oils and haven't had that type of experience. It's not to say that maybe on this application it wouldn't have worked because, you know, that's with and without. So it isn't, you know, verse one penetrating oil. That actually be kind of interesting to see if someone actually wanted to do that online is to experiment with the different types of ETF, different acetone mixes, whatever. But uh, this is something that was shown to me that I thought I'd share with all of you that uh, I, I, in my personal experience works quite well and is really cheap to make.